everyone, it's Liz again, and we have an outdoor run workout for you. So get yourself together, have a playlist on deck, get those running shoes laced up, maybe some water you're taking with you, have a watch or cell phone on you so you can keep track of time. As usual, listen to me as you're warming up. Have your warm-up be a walk, a faster walk, or a super slow jog, whatever you can do and still listen to me and retain what is going on. Today, we are running hills. We're going to do some hill repeats, but not fast ones. So here are your instructions. So the find a hill part, thinking of what hill in your world you're going to find, you're going to find a hill that will take you anywhere from two up to four minutes to jog from bottom to the top at just a nice casual base pace. Okay, so it's a more of a gra it's more of a gradual incline, not so steep of a grade, just, but it's longer hill. Okay, again, it's going to take you two up to four minutes to jog from the bottom to the top of your hill. It doesn't mean you're cooler or a loser, whether you go longer or shorter on your hill. It's really whatever you want to manage today. Two minutes is great, three minutes is great, four minutes is great, and anywhere in between is great. Okay, but it's two to four, maximum four. All right. To get to your hill, it's going to be choose your own adventure. What that means is jog as long or as far as you want or as short as you want to get to and from your hill. Totally up to you. OK, it can be hilly. It can be flat. Doesn't matter. Just get to your hill, but have it be what kind of workout you want it to be. If you want to run three miles or for 30 minutes prior, go for it. If you only r want to run a half mile to your hill, go for that. Okay, so choose your own adventure distance to your hill and back. The hill itself, again, is going to be more of a long, gradual hill. At the hill, you are going to set your watch or just check what the time is, and you're going to run a, for a minimum of 20 minutes up to a maximum of 30 minutes. You choose the time frame that you want to do this. How to choose your time frame could be contingent on your fitness level. It could be contingent on just how you're feeling today. It could also be contingent on how long it took you to get your hill, get to your hill, or how long you're planning on to get back. So it's really up to you. And again, it doesn't mean you're less fit or less cool if you only go for 20 minutes instead of up to the 30. You totally decide what feels right to you today for whatever reason, okay? So you're at your hill. It's a long, gradual hill. You can run two minutes minimum up to four minutes maximum before you have to turn around and descend down the hill. You will run for your full 20 to 30 minutes, just going up the hill, turn around, run down the hill. Simple as that. You're doing hill repeats at this base conversational pace, up and down. We're not sprinting down. We're not sprinting up. We're not pushing our pace down. We're not pushing our pace up. We're controlling our pace up and down. Controlling our pace up for some of us might mean that we actually have to slow it down a little bit because we might not be used to our hills. Descending is often where people really let her rip speed wise. And so I really am going to encourage you to control your speed as you descend. We want to stay healthy. It's nice early season for running. So you want to be nice and controlled on your descent. All right, so you can get going if, you'd if you want, or here are some pointers on running uphill and running downhill. So uphill, remember uphill and climbing up things is always a great way to work on your form, your biomechanics. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind while you're thinking of how you do not overstride, okay? You can avoid overstriding by looking up, taking shorter strides than maybe you want to, and you're going to think about your feet planting below your nose. You also are really going to think about picking up your feet or picking up your legs as you swing each leg through. Your arms are pumping front to back and trying not to cross over your midline. Recall that the midline is the imaginary line from your nose to your belly button, okay? So chest is long, chest is up, looking up, and you're leaning forward into the hill at your ankles. So it's just a real kind of micro lean, and it's at the ankles, not at your belly or your hips, okay? On, this, on the descent, many of the same things you can think of. You do want to focus on not overstriding to control your speed and to keep yourself healthy as you descend hills. OK, how do you not overstride going downhills again? Think about your footprint landing below your nose. OK, Tr really don't reach out with those legs. Control your footprint to land below your nose or maybe even a little longer below the forehead or something. You can look down instead of up. OK, um, you can 
really focus on bringing your chest down and in line so your spine or your torso is in neutral and you do that by thinking of the base of your rib cage pull it down towards your pelvis or pull it down towards the top of your pants so that will give you a nice strong belly a nice strong midsection that carries you down the hill your arms are still pumping okay front to back front to back not crossing that midline or not windmilling out that happens if we get going too fast and as we go downhill we often also as we descend hills we don't pump our arms so regardless make sure you're pumping those arms you definitely want to think about picking up your feet when you go downhill you don't want to kind of catch a toe and drag those toes because that could mean you're going to take a digger pretty soon so pick up those legs and gently place those feet right below your nose just as going up the hill you're going to lean into your downhill but lean in at the ankles it's a micro lean at the ankles not leaving your booty behind and leaning in at the chest okay all right, a lot of details, but get out there, enjoy the fresh air, and just enjoy running outside like usual, okay? Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for tackling some workouts that I give you, and I will chat with you guys real soon. Bye, guys.